Welcome to a dramatic reading of an anime post from exactly 20 years ago. This post is in response to a news story about the introduction of Bandai to the American market. So Bandai, the big uh, anime company in Japan, big toy company involved in a lot of things, famously owner of the Gundam franchise. And uh, we're going to see what somebody has to think about that. And first off, we will start with the, the quote from Variety. Marlon Shulman has been tapped VP of Bandai Japanese Anime and Live Action Fair. Shulman had been director of Biz and Legal Affairs, Worldwide Distribution at Orion Pictures. He also served in the Walt Disney Company's anti-piracy division, Routers Variety. A response from, I believe, a person named Steven. I've been predicting this for years now. It's surprising that it didn't happen a couple years ago when anime was hot thanks to manga's publicity work on Ghost in the Shell. The big questions are, will Bondi plan for the long haul, or is this going to be yet another, gee, we didn't make a hundred million dollars right out of the gate, guess it's a dud, close it down thing from Bondi. Does Shulman have a vision, a direction for Bondi to take, to try to lead the industry, or is he going to play follow the leader and embrace the spirit of Maycheck in his planning and thinking. <clears throat> Are we here on Rec Arts Anime Misc, a news group, ever going to hear from him? Or will Bondi Anime also figure that communication with their fan base is not important except for bland press releases for new titles? To be clear, the person here is expecting the head of Bondi to post in a news group. Basically a mailing list. Does this mean that on the whole, the Sunrise catalog is now closed to outside buyers? Or should we take that press release as is? That is, Bondi America will be doing only original animation and live movies. I am not too sure that yet another lawyer type in charge of an anime company is a good thing. They tend to lack vision and seem unwilling to bake, take bold chances and seize the lead. Smiley face. So, when's their website going up? When are they going to actually talk about their plans? Smiley face. Website in 1997. 98. Not done. Question from the original poster. Can Gundam Wing be far behind? I don't know. I mean, that's a pretty extreme series to start with. And I somehow doubt they're going to start with that current of a Gundam crown jewel, seeing as Bondi Sunrise de deems Gundam the be-all and end-all of their existence. Smiley face. Frankly, I kinda expect Dirty Pair TV for the boobs and gun crowd, and oh, Dragonar, Gundam Light, what will be deemed acceptable for the US market, for the mechhead action crowd. Again, assuming that they're going to release any Sunrise TV series. Or maybe they'll finally get to release their dream series, the one they've wanted to do since 1992, the series created specifically to cater to the US market, the show we all are dying to see. Doozy bots. Don't laugh. I wouldn't be at all surprised if the folks at Sunrise tried to foist that off on the public. Because it had let Bandai to sell their catalog of SD Gundam toys slash models in the US. They have to do something now that Beetleborgs is about dead and Power Rangers is slowing down. Just you watch. Smiley face. <laughs> 